It's happening, my lovely, wonderful people. According to Akan Baba Hamed, most of our former presidents are afraid to speak the truth except one. They are afraid to tell it as it is. But he says one of them will not be quiet and will speak out and let the truth be revealed and be said. He says some are just, you know, quiet and just allowing, you know, things to go on without honestly, sincerely speaking out and doing what they should do. Well, my lovely, wonderful people, it is important that we begin to look at things more objectively and ensure that the truth is being revealed. Um, the spokesman of the Northern Elders Forum, Haken Ham Baba Hamed, revealed the complete opposite of what Tinubu's guys has been saying. Complained that the residents of the southeast of the country do make during an interview with a punch correspondent, according to the news that was published by the new by the punch newspaper online. In the course of the interview, Baba Hamed was asked for his opinion on the assertion made by Malam E. Rufai, the immediate past governor of Kaduna State, that many of the NEF lack uh, political base in the nation and that many of the northern, governor, northern state governor do not recognize the importance of the Northern Elders Forum and do not agree with their recommendation. You are getting your call from the incorrect person, he added, Why he was speaking. Actually, Erufai does not speak for the 19 Northern Governors. We have extremely positive interactions with the governors of the 19 states. But the truth is that people don't want to criticize leaders. When people get into position of influence, they, they at first throw wide their doors, declare that they are interested in developing relationship and good ideas. However, they don't mean any of that. Although the members of the Northern Elders Forum are decent individuals and the moment you start to suggest that perhaps you should start moving in this way or that way, they should pay attention to what you have said. They begin to ignore you. Sadly, according to Baba Hamed, Nigeria has no political elite. Instead, it only has politicians. You cannot have elites who rule for only four or eight years before abruptly step stepping down. He argued that one of the great tragedy in this country is that one of our challenges is that after First Republic, there were no political elites and military never permitted an establishment of true unified national political elites. He continued, unfortunately, all but one of our former presidents are afraid to speak the truth. And that is Olushe Gwabasanjo, a former president. Why do they feel alienated from him and afraid of him? That is because of his perspective in politics and in political system. Why don't they acknowledge a problem and voice it out collectively? In corresponding to that, I see that only Olushe Gwabasanjo can tell the leadership or whoever is president that you are wrong. Only Abasanjo does that. So this is exactly what is happening right now. And everybody can see for a fact and for truth being stated that Nigeria cannot continue in the same way it is and expect that things will suddenly change. He said Nigerians as it is right now are going through a lot and the country with everything that we are experiencing and having, we cannot continue with this same set of you know people who do not share in the value of us becoming a nation and establishing you know what will move us forward says honestly all the other former presidents apart from according to him olushe Gwabasanjo, it feels very much like they are afraid to speak they are afraid to be honest to be sincere and to speak out like it should really be you know he said so it is really a shame to mention but if you that these things are happening these people should actually be speaking out but most of them no they won't they will rather be silent and watch things go 
go haywire, you know. They would rather be silent and watch, you know, things go the other way. He said only Olusegwa Basanjo is the person who can speak and can speak to any of them and say enough is enough. You can't try that with me. He said the rest of them will be silent and just watching and doing nothing particular. So it is, it is something of what that, you know, the elder statesman says, you know, all, uh, the rest of them do not really care. They don't really care what's going on in the country. They are just, you know, after what they can possibly get. He said the only person he sees that can really answer to government, you know, and they should be speaking out collectively as one voice. He said it's only Olushe Gobasanjo. He said the rest of them, none of them really share a true value, a sincere, you know, approach in ensuring that this, this whole, you know, thing that they are doing right now comes to an end. He said for him, what he sees right now is that only Olushe Gobasanjo can tell whichever leadership is in position that enough is enough. So you can see for a fact and you can see for yourself that Nigerians, we are actually, you know, we're actually going through this season where we need, you know, sincere and honest people to come up, or, you know, come back right on track and to be able to speak out and end every form and anything that does not move us forward. The days upon us are so, so, you know, so, so, uh, you know, very clear that there are persons and there are people who do not want, you know, this country or want us as a people to move forward. And all they are doing is for basically themselves, you know, basically is what they could possibly get. So it's, 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 it is something that we must look at and we must ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again, okay, to hold us down. It is important that we begin to see things more critically and look at things more objectively and ensure that at the end of the day, you know, things are different. So Nigerians, the ball is in our court, as you can see, and we need to ensure that we rise up to the occasion and do everything that is needed and right to ensure that this country becomes a better place. No one should sit back there and think that things are just going to suddenly fall in place. So it is what it is. It is what it is. So it is high time we begin to, you know, rise up to the occasion and ensure that um, we, we do everything needed. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.